Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back playing Parallax. This is episode one, the second episode. In case you missed it, the first episode was episode zero because I start counting at zero. That's just how I am. What do we have here? So this has a very long delay to go to that, and it seems like it's long enough that we could press it and then quickly run through the portal. Gotcha. What do we have over here, though? Not much, honestly. Yeah, not much. So what happens if we just launch ourselves through here immediately? So we can swap all of these around. Sounds like a plan. I wonder what these arrow edge things are for. Hmm. So are these ones black with white stripes? And the other ones out here, white with black stripes? Do you think that's how it is? I don't actually know. You can kinda little see a little... seam in the geometry there. But anyway... Let's go ahead and try my... my idea. And... run for it! Whee! Alright, well that did something. Can I make the jump between these? No. Answer is no. Right. So now we can flip all of them at the same time, it would seem. And what has that done for us? We can go through this one now. Oh, we're gonna be rotating that at some point. Oh no, what does this do? Interesting. Well, let's see about that now. Oh, that's why they're like that. I see. No, I s I'm slowly slipping. I'm not pressing any keys right now. I'm just slipping down. <laughs> Interesting. At least the checkpoint system's good. We have another rotatable area here, interestingly enough. Did that rotate... with... everything? I think it might have. Let's try that! Also, while we're here, let's see if what we can do with this button. What does that rotate? Huh? There's nothing there. There's nothing there in either world. So I think if we press this, nothing will happen. I think we want to rotate this first. Yeah, I think if we rotate this first, it'll rotate up to there, and then we can rotate it... ...perhaps in a more meaningful way. That's my guess. But for now, we need to spin this guy around. It seems like we have to press this button in order to do that. Oh, that's death. Ha <laughs> Okay then. That was most definitely death. Let's press this again, perhaps. And try... this one. What does this do if we press it and nothing happens? Yep, nothing happens. Okay. Understood. And I fell off, because of course I did. That's just going to be a thing in this game, unfortunately. Whee! Huh. What might we do instead? Is there a thing I can do? Or am I trapped? I might have trapped myself. Surely there's not trapping situations in this game. I can't- I can't be right. Surely I can jump over to here. No. The answer is a resounding no. Definitely not. What am I missing? Okay. 
Okay, I can get out through here now. Oops, and I fell off again. Because of course I did. Ah, here we go, now I can press this. Why didn't I try that before? There we go. My number of actions performed on this is gonna be off the charts, but whatever. Whatever. It works. So now we go over here, and press this to do... just wanted it out of the way? Right, I think we did just want it out of the way. Okay, yeah, we're done now. I see, I see. There we go, alright. Gotta love that sound effect. 14 out of 9 actions! <laughs> what the heck is this achievement? Seen Sean Bean? What? What? What does that even mean? Sean Bean. Die 20 times. Oh, okay. <laughs> the game's making fun of me for dying, huh? Gotcha. There's a lot of things to do here. The game is increasing in complexity, though not necessarily in challenge or difficulty. Now would be an excellent time to answer my question from last episode. So if I press this, can I also press this? No! Oh! So I was right, you can only have one action running at a time. I'm clicking as hard as I can and that's not doing a thing. Alright, let's uh... uh no, no. Why did- Okay, that's annoying how long it takes to switch between paused and unpaused. Like, it's a cool animation and all, but if it takes this long to get between playing the game and pausing the game, that's a bit annoying. I would recommend that the pause screen should be more instantaneous. Hmm. Let's just assume I needed to do that. What about in here? Hmm. interesting. That's also interesting, and death. Well, I think I forgot what I need to do, at least. Oh, okay, I see. Right, but how do we rotate... I need to land there. Let's retry again. Yes, I know the goal's there, you don't have to tell me every time, game. Hmm. There's actually not a good way to do what I want to do, is there? Where does this take us? Oh, exactly where I wanted to be. There you have it. Oh. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? This is the one I want to be able to go through. Well, now I can get it out of sync at the very least. Oops. Eh, uh, well, whatever. Let's, let's actually just restart. I'm gonna try and get the minimum number of actions. Seven actions. Alright, let's see here. Don't need to press that until we've got everything set up exactly the way we need it. Let's press that. Head through here.
Oh wait, I needed to press the other switch. I need to press this one right here. Come on. There we go. And I fell off again, because of course I did. Because I'm impatient. Right. So we need to press this now to get them out of sync. Then we can head back, and redo the rigmarole. Yes. Press this again. Yeah, that should be sufficient. go. And let's do that. Excellent. Yeah, there we go. Did it. Perfect. Perfect! Exactly. Next. I'm not gonna try and get perfect on every level, that's just... I mean, there's not much of a point. Hmm. What do we have around here? That flips that and that. But if I do that, I won't be able to do anything, and I'll just have to press it again, so it'll be two wasted actions. Head down through here and see what we can do in here. If anything. Interesting, so we can rotate this guy. Or this guy. Why would we want to rotate that guy, though? Wait, what? Is this a different area? Am I losing my mind? Is this a different area? No, it's the same area. I'm just confused, I guess. Okay, I see how things connect. Yeah. Don't think we want to press that at all just yet. What would we want to press that for? Because there's nothing else connected to it, right? Oh, there is stuff connected to it! Right, that's connected to- oh, I see. But... how would we ever get there unless we rotate this guy? What is this one connected to? This. Okay, I see. We can still get through him, so let's investigate and see what's changed. Ah, we can reach this now. Hmm. Did I want to do that, though? That allows us to reach that, which... What does that go to? Oh. It goes to this. Oh, okay, yeah. So we did need to do that. And... I think we need to rotate this one. I don't really know why, though, but let's just go ahead and do it. Right. Let's see what this over here is. Oops. There's that taken care of. What about in here? Why did I rotate that, if I can't even get to it anymore? What is the point of rotating that, then? Hold on a sec. Let's retry and- let's just never rotate it. How about that? Yeah, yeah, I know where the goal is, thanks. And press this, and then- oh, and I fell off again. That's gonna get annoying. Disoriented. 
That's the name of the game I couldn't remember. Disoriented. I told you guys I'd remember after I stopped recording the first episode. <laughs> but yeah, Disoriented has the same problem where there's lots of pointless walking around and lots of ways to fall to your death. For no reason. For no reason. At all. Alright, so we've gotten that done now. So now we want that to face the other way, right? Yeah. Not sure what this is for just yet. Maybe we'll find out, but so far it doesn't seem too useful. Yeah, because we can't do anything in here, so... Huh. Maybe it's required for a minimum number of moves or something? Oh, my crosshairs changed when I passed through. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, look at that. So white outlines... When I'm in this world, they have white outlines and they're black. But when I'm in this world, they have black outlines and they're white. Interesting. What was that area for, then? Was that just a red herring? What's the point of that? Maybe it's some kind of anti-trapping, but how would you get trapped? If anybody knows what that platform over there is for, please tell me. I would like to know. How many moves did I use? Seven out of seven! So they knew that that area wasn't needed? Is it for anti-trapping? I- I have no idea. I'm genuinely confused about what that area is for. Well, anyway, halfway through the episode, let's continue on. Oh, oh, that does move. Okay, I was about to say. Oh, well, we can't really do much up from up here, though. Maybe we're gonna rotate something in such a way as to be useful. Yeah, because we can't make that jump. Oh, is this the tile we start on? Maybe that's what that eject button is for. Let's investigate around here. Hmm, so we want to flip that one around for now. Pressing this button won't do that, though. Let's flip those. How do I start? Oh, I go over this? Oh, okay, I can go over it. Gotcha. Hmm. Can't do much over here, though. But if I rotate that, I might be able to do something else. And I'm still not sure what the point of this going up and down is, because we could just have this one here and then another one next to it. One of them goes through the portal and the other one goes past it. I mean, it just seems like a needless timing exercise. And I can't do anything here, because of course I can't. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I can go through this at least. There's something I can couldn't do before. Maybe I can get over there somehow. This only rotates that one. Interesting. How do I want this con configured, though? Let's just press both of them. Did that do anything? Oh wait, what did that rotate? What did I rotate? And I fell off again. Did I rotate the platform? Why would I want to do that, though? Huh. I guess I can jump to it now, but everything's rotated the wrong way, so...
And I fell off again. <sighs> Let's go back in here now that I've rotated them this way and see what all we can do. Yeah, I can actually access something now, so that's something, right? What does this do? Oh, I see. So now that one won't do anything because we have it rotated this way. Hmm. That's definitely what that's for. Oh, I almost made it. <laughs> I jumped a bit too early, though. Can I jump to here now? I can. I kinda get the feeling that I maybe am not supposed to be able to do that, though. I don't even know what this would do. How does getting up there help me, anyway? Come on, now. So I can get up here, and then I can't get past this obstacle. So, what is the point? <laughs> Interesting. Why did I do that? I should have waited a bit longer. There we go. Let's try that, and then let's see what this one does for us. There we go. And I- why did I do that again? I'm not even thinking properly. Right, but now I need to rotate all of them again. Oh, no. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that wasn't gonna work any time. <laughs> And, again, I'm just being dumb here. Wait... There we go. Press this. There we go, now I can press this button and see what this does. And of course it does nothing. <laughs> I should have done this side first. Well... Might be faster to just restart at this point. Yes, I see the goal, thank you. Oh, I see the goal now! It's upside down. Yes, I understand what the point of the rotating that is now. Right, well we know what to do, at least. Alright. Let's do that. Oh, maybe I didn't actually want to do that. Let's- let's reset again! <laughs> I mean, I've reset once, I might as well do it again. Yes, yes, let me move, please, thank you. It's kind of annoying, at the start of the level, you can't move. Right, so... I think I actually want to press... this one over here. Yeah, then I need to press the one out here. Oops. Did this count as pressed, or...? No, it didn't count as pressed. There we go. Now I can press this button. Man, this is a really tedious puzzle, because then I have to undo that... ...and, and, do, and then do it the other side. It, that, that's so tedious! Why is it so tedious? There's a difference between, between challenge and complexity, you know. Alright, let's jump out of here. Have any 
need to get up there and actually press the button to rotate the exit, and then we gotta undo what we did. And crap, I did that wrong again. Gotta jump here first, and then here... ...for some reason. There we go. Now we gotta press this button again. Take this. And do this. And then we gotta rotate it from the other side, because that's how tedious this is. Come on, there we go. There we go. Now we can get over here and press this button. Now we're pretty much effectively done. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 yeah, I'm done. Come on, let me through here, please, thank you! I forgot I needed to go on here. I thought I still had a button press. But nope, we're done. I just jumped down to here. Yeah, not too much a fan of this one, honestly. Do love that sound effect, though. Nine out of nine actions. One death. Whatever. <laughs> New chapter unlocked. Chapter C. Right, well we got four minutes left in the episode or so. Let's go ahead and start off the first level of chapter C. We might be done with the game next episode, depending on, uh, yeah, maybe. Now we finally got some interesting chiptune music playing. Nothing like the trailer just yet, though. What do these do? Alright, they're deadly. Except... Except that the checkpoint is right next to them, so what's the point? What is the point? What is the point in killing me if- if they're- if the checkpoint is right here? Once again, another example of how death is pointless in puzzle games. There's no reason to create a death mechanic in a puzzle game. Aside from a fail state like this, but even this is excessive. Ah, whatever. I guess it looks neat anyway. Yeah, death is more of a frustration than anything. Like, this could just block movement and that would be enough. Why doesn't it just block movement? That's a good question. Why does it kill me instead of just blocking movement? Oh well, one interesting aspect of this is, uh... You can kind of see through it. The white parts are actually transparent. See? You can see the... the... the these things right here. These outlines around the whole world. You can see them through the white parts. I don't know how easy it is to tell that you can. But it's true. You can tell over there, kinda. You can kind of see the white strip behind there. Anyway. Just a little, neat little science fact. What do we need to do here? Sure, that seems like it wasn't a bad idea. Let's go into the right side first. Yes, yes, I see the goal. Thank you very much. What do we have here? That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, and I almost landed back on the platform, interestingly enough. Oh, so we can change which side is blocked. Gotcha. for us again? Just that. We want to get over there, right? Oh, now we can do that trivially. I see. Hmm. We can press that, but what does that do for us? 
equips both of them. Alright, so now we go out the other side of that one, I suppose. That was weird. I don't know how my mouse moved like that, but sure. Now we can launch to the exit from in here. Oh yeah, that's pretty trivial then. Lots of walking around and not so much of a puzzle, honestly. Was it perfect? Yes, it was perfect. Next. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!